you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Team of the Week drops, finally. So usually, this comes out at around 2, so I haven't been able to make a video because of school restrictions on Tuesdays. But I just watched the stream. I don't know if they've been doing that. My bad if I'm missing that. They announced everything on stream. So I got screenshots to show you guys. I got the heroes, the LTDs, the set pieces, the higher set pieces. I got everything for you guys. So I got it all in screenshots. So head over to that when time comes. But guys, I'm pretty excited for these Team of the Week drops. Uh, would I use any of them? I don't know. Until, I have to wait until the prices come down, obviously. Because I'll never buy a card the first day or so when it comes out. Because the prices are obviously more expensive. But, I mean, when Dalvin Cook came out and uh, Bradley Chubb, they came down quite tremendously really quickly. So, if it's the same effect, I might be able to pick some of these guys up. I really do like one of the guys. I don't know if I'd be able to use him because I'm waiting for someone else. But, I'll get all into that as the video progresses, guys. Now, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. We are so close to 9K. You guys have been killing it. All the new supporters, thank you so much. Once we get to 9K, it's the home stretch to 10K. And then, once we hit there, first big milestone hit. So, let's make that a reality, boys. And, also, comment down below what you think of these Team of the Week heroes. Make sure to turn on that notification bell. And guys, remember, I'm doing two giveaways, coin giveaways for the past two days. All you got to do is give the video a thumbs up and comment down below. Done. Comment down below 50K. So in the first video for the day, you're going to see is this one. The second video, I'm going to do a 50K giveaway. We need 350 likes. And the third, second, the third video, 100K giveaway. All you have to do is comment 100K in that video. And then like the video. If we get 500 likes in my third video of the day, 100K giveaway. If we get 500 likes in that video, you, all the giveaways go or vice versa you guys understand the point so on this video just comment down below 50k like the video if this video gets to 300 likes again i will do another giveaway for you guys and i'll announce all the winners in the coming days guys get into this video for the team of the week so we got two heroes one limited time multiple set pieces you guys should know the deal already so let's head on over to the screenshots and i'll show you guys everything all right guys so first thing we got here is the set pieces so if you guys know how this usually works in years past they've had an offensive and a defensive set all together like separately this year the way they've been doing it is to have offense and defense all into one big set okay these are the grand total amount of players so coming from the bottom right of the list we got nick williams 76 overall defensive tackle he doesn't have a single good stat they're all 70s and 60s 182 acceleration card must have been played pretty good in real life but they did not give him well enough stats for me to really think he's even useful let's look at eric harris eric harris is a 77 overall free safety on the oakland raiders he's got 80 speed 80 acceleration no coverage no hit power no man, no pursuit, no zone. Again, not much of a useful card. I feel like Team of the Weeks are notorious for budget beast. So it's kind of upsetting that they produce cards that literally can't play on the field. At least give them one good stat. AJ Brown, another guy who had an awesome week in real life. I believe he had like 96 yards, two touchdowns, one of them being like a 50-yard burn burner touchdown. So I wish he would have had a higher speed considering what he did. Again, his stats aren't good. He has bad speed, bad jumping, bad catching, bad route running. Another not useful card, but now we come over to Cortland Sutton. His card looks slightly better than AJ Brown's, but not by much. 83 speed, 83 jumping, so bad speed, bad jumping for a budget beast if you wanted him as one. He has bad catching besides the spec catch of 81, and again, no route running. I don't know why, like, these bottom line of cards really aren't usable even on a budget squad. There's much better options you can find that are budget beasts. I don't know why they did it like that. Kyle Van Noy had a pretty good week too. I remember actually watching him play. He did really amazing. 76 speed, 83 excel at outside linebacker. I guess on a budget team, that's okay so far. 80 play rec, 78 tackle, and the block shedding is all low. The finesse moves are low, power moves are low. Not much of a pass rusher, I'd guess. He's kind of like a decently, slightly 80 overall athletic version with some play rec. I don't really know what to call that. Now, Jordan Howard. He had a pretty awesome week. Three touchdowns, six feet tall, 83 speed, 82 excel, 83 agility, 87 catching. For 81 overall, that's not horrible. 72 break tackle, 79 trucking. I kind of wish his trucking and his break tackle were slightly higher. The card isn't horrendous. Now, Jameis Winston had a day. He had like four touchdowns, like 500 yards, like 460 yards. This card went off. He went off in real life, not this card. But again, his stats aren't that great, which, I mean, he's not good. He's not a great quarterback. But like for a team of the week card, you think he'd have at least more than 280 stats. He's got 74 speed, which I guess is decently mobile. 85 throw power, which is decent. 81 throw accuracy short, 77 throw accuracy mid, 76 throw accuracy deep, 79 throw under pressure, 79 throw on the run, 79 play action. And then you got Quentin Dunbar, cornerback. He actually doesn't look horrible. He's got 86 speed, 89 excel, 82 agility, 89 jumping. I mean, 80 jumping, my bad. 
Obviously, his cover stats aren't great at all, but again, when you want to look for a budget beast cornerback, sometimes all you need is speed, and you'll make it work from there. Now, on to the next screenshot. There we go. We got Mario Addison. He is one of the higher guys on the list. He has 70. He's one of the higher set pieces, at least. He's got 75 speed, 81 excel, 72 strength, 83 tackle, 82 play rec, 69 block shed, 71 power move, and 86 finesse move. Now, his finesse moves are pretty good. He plays, he won't play the run too well. He will decently pass rush, not the best card. We also have a Desmond King as one of the set pieces. But before I talk about Desmond King, we also did get an Austin Hooper, which I kind of called that they would have one. I have him in fantasy uh, football, and he got like, a, I think it was like 130 yards. He went off for the Falcons. He was kind of like the safety outlet for Matt Ryan all day. So that's it for that so far. Then we got Desmond King, 5'10", 86 speed, 88 excel, 92 agility, 81 jumping. He's highly athletic minus the jumping. The jumping's okay. But he's highly athletic with a 91 play rec, 86 man coverage, 90 zone, 81 press. So I like this card. If it's cheap enough, he would not be a bad buy. But again, I mean, at that price, like I feel like this card would be like probably like 180K, just about. At that price, you're probably better off going with Willie Brown for 210K right now. He will have, he'll be faster. He'll have all the threshold for physicality, better jumping. This card's athletic, but not athletic enough. And then the play rec is good. The zone's good, but the man's kind of low. The press is kind of low. Willie Brown hits all those thresholds if you chem him up and power him up. So for that reason, I think I'm kind of out on Desmond King. Not a horrible card. If you got, if you were to get him Nat or something, or somehow you ended up with him or he was cheap enough, probably won't be going for any more than 200K. Initially, he will, and he'll come down, and then he might come right back up. Then next on the list, we got Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb, 90 over running back. I really like this card. But if you guys know anything, if you guys have been playing, you guys have seen the Gauntlet Rewards, he looks eerily similar to Leonard Fournette. Like, almost identical. He's got 87 speed, 88 excel. That's not horrible at first glance. If you were to power up this card, that would not be bad. He'd be just like, he'd be like Marcus Allen so far. 80 agility is not horrible. I wish it was a little bit higher. 91 carrying is really good. 65 catching is okay. The looseness and agility are really low for my liking. He does have 89 trucking, 88 break tackle though. So he is a, he is a power back, which is weird because in real life, he's also very fast. Have you ever seen him? He broke another like 80 yard touchdown. Every time he gets into open field, he could break it all the way. Straight line speed after that. So I feel like that's kind of one of his things. So I thought he should maybe have had like an 89 speed. You give this card an 89 speed and he's one of the best running backs in the game. Because you could power that up to a 90. 87 speed's a little lackluster though. Even the Dalvin Cook they gave a few weeks ago was faster than that at a lower overall. Next, we got the limited time card for the team of the week. That is Chris Godwin. 172 yards, two touchdowns. Now, if you guys know, this card will be very overpriced at first glance, but when the Series Redux comes out at the end of Series 2, which is quite a while away, when we go into Series 3, though, we'll have a Series Redux Chris Godwin. So if you wanted a Chris Godwin on your team, there's still hope to get him. This card looks pretty amazing, not going to lie. 91 overall wide receiver. He had a day. He had a day. Surprisingly, it wasn't Mike Evans. It was Chris Godwin. He has been one of the go-to guys for um, James Winston. He's six foot one, so good height. 89 speed, 86 jumping. Right there. So he's really athletic. He's one of the faster receivers in the game. Good jumping. 92 catching. So he has he has a catching threshold. Catch and traffic 88. Spec catch 89. You could easily power these up to a, a 90, or you could chem them up. Then he's got route running 89 for medium, short route running 87, deep route running 87. So he can run routes like Antonio Brown. He's one of the better route runners in the game. He has solid hands right now. And he's athletic. This card is all around one of the best receivers in the game. Is it a flashy pick saying that you want Chris Godwin? Probably not. But is he a top tier receiver right now? Yes. Is he going to be overpriced? Yes. So maybe you want to wait for the Redux. And his salary cap is 47, which means for all you salary cap users, you know what that means. I can't tell you what that means. I don't play enough to really know how that works. Now, guys, back to the Madden screen. That is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy all of these. Remember, we did get the Mario Addison, the Austin Hooper. We got all those low level guys. That I went over but not many of them are really that useful which sucks because typically I love team of the week because it just introduces a whole new aspect to my budget bees video like when we got the John Ross we got the Hollywood Brown sadly we didn't get any of those cup guys this week which kind of sucks kind of makes the lower guys a little bit of a waste but we got some pretty cool heroes Nick Chubb looks like a beast Chris Godwin looks like a monster and Desmond King looks okay I think there's better options at his price but he's not a bad card I just think there's more efficient options now for me personally I won't be picking up any of these cards I would like to try out Chubb at some point, but I won't be picking him up because Mark Allen's currently better in my opinion. He's already powered up. I'd rather wait for Mud here to see if a Saquon or Kamara comes out. But I hope you guys do enjoy your team of the week. Do not forget to play your solo challenge, guys. When you see this, you still have about two hours. You have about two hours until the solo challenge goes away from last week. Make sure you get that done so you can secure your token, 
have your token and be ready for the end of the year when the team of the year comes out and you guys have your tokens for your free player you won't want to miss out on that guys so take advantage now guys before i get out of this video make sure to go down below hit the subscribe button turn on that noti bell boys let's get to the final stretch of 10k let's hit the 9k and get into there and don't forget comment down below 100k and remember the whole day again if we get to 500 likes in my third video today and same with this video if this video gets uh, i'll just comment the video this video 300 likes just comment down below anything done 50k whatever get this video to 300 likes if all three of them hit i'll give away all three of them if only one hits i'll give away a percentage of them we'll get over that in the next few days when we if we hit the like goal that's about it guys don't forget thumbs up i'm out see you guys later peace